Well, good afternoon. My name is Matthew Oakley. Uh, my colleagues here are Jason Hawk, Roberto Venez, and Carlos Rodriguez. And uh, we're here to present the Integrated Automobile Child Detection System, or IACDS. Now, the goal of the IACDS is to detect a child left behind in a car, alert the driver and or bystanders, and if necessary, cool the environment for the child. Uh, additionally, we hope to be able to implement a system which can be integrated with a manufacturer's automobile at low cost and with zero network connectivity. Now, the system uh, to build it, we uh, use weight sensors mounted in the seats along with sensor arrays mounted to the dash and interior roof of the vehicle. The sensor arrays feed motion and facial detection data to a central microcontroller which handles main system processing as well as system output. Motion detection takes place via IR motion sensors, while the facial detection takes place via a camera running open CV scripts on the microcontroller. The system runs off a 12 volt, 12 volt automotive battery power uh, and is initiated when a door is open. Once the system is operational, it will listen through the sensor arrays to try to determine if a child is present or absent. If no child is detected, the system will simply shut down. However, if a child is detected, then the system enters several other states based on real-world scenarios. For example, if an adult is detected along with the child, the system will continue listening, continue listening for a period of time before shutting down itself. Uh, if no adult is detected, then the system uh, will look at the state of the doors. If the doors are open, then the system emits a signal to trigger a soft alarm. Think something if you left your lights on in the car. Uh, this is meant to be a pre-warning in hopes to avoid a, a more dangerous situation. If the doors are closed, the system enters into a hard alarm state. And in this case, it enters a signal meant to trigger the, trigger the horn, the lights, uh, and if necessary, the HVAC of the, the automobile. So uh, to test this design, we built a prototype, which can be seen here. It's a two-seat prototype. Uh, it's complete with all the sensors that we mentioned, along with an output panel of LED indicators and an audible alarm. Uh, we put it through a battery of 72 tests, uh, a combination of uh, system functionality that we needed to test in real-world scenarios. And to be honest, the first round of testing uh, fell a little bit short of our goals. We, we met a lot of our time-based goals, as you can see here on the bottom of the slide, but our uh, positive detection rate, false positive rate, and our correct output rate all fell a little bit short. So we went back, looked at the data, and used it to find the errors within our system. What we found was we had a, a major flaw in the, the main program logic, and so we fixed that, and we went back and uh, calibrated the cameras based on another little program we went to correct, uh, gather some parameters to feed the OpenCV system. Uh, once we did that, our uh, positive detection rate jumped to 100%, false positive rate fell to 1.39%, and the correct output rate rose to 95.83%, meaning that we met our objectives. Uh, though we don't deem it market ready, we do feel that this is enough evidence to uh, take it to the next phase of design, which we uh, believe would be implementation into a full-scale automobile, which would allow for more advanced testing. So, uh, again, that's the Integrated Automobile Child Detection System, and with that, we'd like to take any questions. Uh, you know, you uh, publish your false positive rate. What's your false negative rate? False negative rate? Um, Assuming that you were thinking, you said that there's nothing, there's no child in there, but there really is. Uh, assuming that there is no child, but there really is a child? Right, your system deems there's no child, but there really is a child. Um, I, I don't know that we ended up looking at that at all, really. No, I think it's a part of the positive detection, either a detector or a detector. Yeah. So the one gets that. Yeah. Integrated into the, into the positive detection rate, does it, does it get <coughs> uh, what is actually there or, or what is not there as well? What are some of the scenarios you use to try to spoof it, to try to get it to make your own decision? Um, we looked at, uh, not as the overall system, but we looked at when just testing the cameras. Uh, it was a little more easier as we tested the cameras individually to kind of vary the light. Uh, and varying the light, we were able to uh, set the parameters a little bit better to detect faces. Uh, for the overall system, uh, you know, setting something in like weight, weight like, a, like a box. Uh, Can you tell the difference between a baby and a doll? Uh, well, I, I don't know what, you, what you're yeah, asking. See, did, I try, did you try putting a doll in the car seat? We, we used a doll for testing uh, along with weight. So the combination of weight and a doll face uh, will set the system off. 
So if the child leaves their doll sitting in the car, the system will not go off because the doll doesn't weigh enough. So it's the combination of motion, weight, and facial detection that all integrates to help uh, achieve these, well, you know, for example, a low false positive rate. The system looks at the, all the sensors as a whole rather than just any one sensor. Did y'all guys consider like infrared? Uh, we looked at uh, infrared, uh, like uh, thermal imaging, that sort of thing. Uh, one problem we found was that cameras cost a whole lot. Uh, so being able to implement all those cameras, um, we felt like we'd be able to get a, a cheaper system since a lot of these types of cameras have already been integrated into the side mirrors of the car or reverse camera. So we figured uh, if we wanted to integrate it with the manufacturer, it's just kind of the next step. Uh, we also, as we begin to make decisions, we got some feedback uh, last time and decided to add an additional sensor array in the front. And you know, in incorporating that, one thing we began to think of is, you know, you have a lot of drivers, for example, Uber drivers, who are already wanting a camera mounted in their car. Uh, there may be additional functionalities for the camera, such as a mother who wants to be able to press a button and check the video for her kid. Uh, that would be another functionality. So uh, that would steer us away from infrared. All right. Thank you very much. Thank let's, you. Let's thank you.